The next topic which is there in our syllabus in the first unit is e-commerce transactions on the wide www. That means that world wide web that is formally called, you can call it as an internet. Internet. See, in the World Wide Web, or formula I said that is an internet. World Wide Web is a collection of browsers, browser websites, comma, web, ser web servers. These are the collection of all these. You can say that it is an internet or called the World Wide Web. That means that I can I can do the transactions and the business over the over, over the India or over uh, over the world or the across the world or geographically through the internet that is called the called the world world web. So what are the e-commerce transactions on the world world web? I can do the transaction like an EDA, EDI electronic data interchanges and also supply chain management supply change management. I can also do the electronic funds transfer and all the things I can do through the WWW through the e-commerce transactions. That means that I can do all the transactions or business transaction over the an internet and other things. Here I have written a, an example what are the transactions to the overnight uh, through the internet and other things. See, I can say that is type of a online shopping also. Online shopping. That is called the business to customer. This example that I show that the business to customers. Those are the transactions you can do the World Wide Web. This is an example which is there in our syllabus book from the Murti, CSV Murti, the author. So this example I have taken from the book only. So what are the example of the transactions I can take from the World Wide Web? See simple example I can say that taken as a Amazon. Amazon website. The first the first step of the customer, the customer from his browser at the website. There are the different types of the browser. Internet Explorer, Mozilla, and Opera, and all the things are the web browsers from that is called the client. That means that the user or the customer can do the shopping and all the things from the browser from the first, first time from his uh, internet, uh, mm. internet only. So the customer first uh, wants to log on to the or the place the order from his browser. Take an, I'll give the, an example of their website www.amazon.com. I can do all these things through the World Wide Web. See, first uh, we log on to the Amazon user ID and all the things from his uh, customer's uh, website, uh, web, uh, web browser. The customer search for the product. What are the product exactly it is? Suppose the customer wants to buy a mobile phone through the Amazon and other things. Then the second one, this is the first one, the customer lines. The second one, he search the products in their websites. The second one, the select the select the product. Uh, suppose he mobile mobile phone here searching for the mobile phone, some X mobile. So this is the Amazon, Amazon people, Amazon people. Then he wants to buy a mobile phone, so he sends the purchase order, purchase I want to buy this mobile phone with this cost and all the things. This is a seller. He is a buyer. Buyer is a customer. The seller is a Amazon people and all the things. But who is, whomever it may be. He says the 
purchase order to the seller and other things. In turn, in turn the customer, customer want to pay the payment through the online order. Even the payment also done. Then the purchase confirmation is come. That means that these Amazon people say that the confirmation of the payment has been done from your side and other things. So that means that your purchase order has been raised from the from the from their places and other things. That means that payment confirmation from the seller. That means here the customer is paying the money to the seller. In turn, the seller is sending the payment confirmation. Yes, your payment has been done and, and all the things since you have ordered the mobile phone. Once the payment has been confirmation and all the things, uh, the credit approval also comes from the, the other side. The finally, the product has been product has been received from the seller to the buyer. That means that finally, product deliver to the customer. When the customer has been received the uh, product and you can open the pack of the mobile phone and then mobile phones then you check the how the quality of the product and other things. These are the transactions which is occurred through the worldwide web through the e-commerce. These are the transactions. These are the ten normal transactions which appears in the worldwide web when you are doing the e-commerce transactions. Yeah. The next topic in the e-commerce uh, Syllabus in the first unit is the e-marketing, or I can say the digital marketing as it is called sometimes. Digital marketing, electronic marketing, email electronic, or online marketing. That means that doing of the process of marketing over the internet. See, when you are doing the Marketing and other things in the physically and other things and making of the pamphlets or telling to the sometimes to the some people are making of the advertisement and all the things do it comes under the marketing and other things. When it comes to the electronic marketing in the e-commerce things, uh, that means that posting or doing of the marketing process activities over the internet and other things. That means that I have started a X business and other things. I wanted to do the marketing and other things. Uh, you need to make the uh, what are the advantages, the disorder, what are the pluses and what are the things, all keeps in the thing, those things in, in the websites and all the things. That means that you are making of the, your business things globally or, the, or geographically you are doing the marketing and other things. Suppose if you have a, in, in a manual marketing and other things, I need to go to the door to deliver, door to door person, you need to tell about the product and all the things. That is one type of the marketing where the people are doing nowadays. Those are those are the one of the limitations, drawbacks when you are doing the physical marketing and all the things. Those nowadays when it comes to the e-commerce, under that we have e-marketing and other things. No need to go to the door to door a person but doing of the marketing of your product. That has been vanished now. Once the e-marketing has been comes and other things, all the things, all the process. Uh, of your marketing things, strategic of your product and other things, keep in one place and other things. Do business or do marketing about your product and other things. That's called of the e-marketing. That means that making of the advertisement or sending the emails from one place to the other place or sending the communication of your product or doing of marketing through the internet. This is called the e-marketing and other things. Marketing. See, I have a product and other things. Until unless you have the high market only, we have the last, we have more profit and other things. If there is no market, there is no market about your product and other things, that business will go down and other things. So when it comes to the electronic or internet or things has been comes, uh, the e-marketing or the e-advertisement or e-digital marketing and other things comes into the picture so that I can go or I can do the business across the world and other things. I can make the marketing of my product across the world. Those are the comes under the e-marketing things. There are three types of three types of the e-marketing models. E-marketing e models are there. The first two 
One is the broker model, second one is the customization model, the third one is the contact models, model. These are the models which comes under the e-marketing and all the things. The first one is the broker model. That means that interaction at the intermediate between a, a customer up to the supplier making of the enjoying when are doing the e-marketing and all the things. That means that the first one, the customer, the supplier is having the more interaction when you are doing the e-marketing and all the things. That means the interacting between the customer and the supplier by enjoying their products. That's called the business to customer broker model. That means that I'll be doing the marketing and all the things from customer perspective. Other one is the the seller is somewhere some other place. The in between, in between, you have the e-marketing things uh, that comes under the brokerage. That means the inter between between the, a customer to the seller, we have a broker model. That means that when you are doing of the marketing and all the things, you should have the enjoyable things from the perspective of the customer side, so that you do the marketing well. It comes under the broker model. That means the interaction between the customer and the uh, supplier. That means that effective effective shopping quality of the product quality of the product delivery all these things uh, are should be a, in a positive perspectives or positive, positive aspects uh, under come the broker model of the e-marketing that means that the effective when you are doing of marketing things or doing of online things or whatever it may be, that cooperation between the customer supply should be a, a friendly nature. That, that means that a broker, a mediator is there between the, a customer, a supply that comes into the broker model. An intermediate is a system or a person, anything that comes into the broker model. The second one is the customization model. That means that See, the customer is not happy with the one product, generally. The customer is having the different or many choices there so that the customer can choose the best one among all these choices. That means that we need to give the more choices to the customer, not instead of giving the one or two. So that the customer pick the best quality of the product from the choices and other things. So that comes under the customization, customization. That means that interaction between the customer supplier should have like a choice based way, choice based way. Then only this customization comes more into the future. The last one is the contact model. Contact in the contact model that should have the, the definition interaction with the customer and the supplier with a bargain. Definitely, the customer always uh, bargain about the product and other things in terms of the quality or in terms of the price. That is the price. Generally, the customer bargain uh, about the cost and other things. Bargain about the cost and other things. If the if the affordable cost uh, which is uh, by the customer, then only by the product from the customer only. If they, the the uh, the amount is, ex, ex, I mean, more than his expectation and all the things, that product cannot be buy by the customer. That means that within the limit of the money or within the, all the uh, mindset of the customer only, the customer buy the product. If the product, suppose the customer is having the 10 rupees, uh, he, he doesn't want to buy the 25 rupees uh, product or 35 rupees product. Now he make up the bargain with the seller about the product. Once they are happy with the, all the things, then the customer can buy the product and all the things. All the things which is like, comes under the e-marketing. These are the three famous models about the e-marketing. One the brokerage broker model, customization model and the contact model.